Krix is here. Hello. Welcome to this week's vlog. And today, and in this week in general, I'm gonna draw a lot and probably insert a lot of speed painting. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about Etsy and about art supplies. <laughs> this week I didn't film anything outdoors because I went to London this Sunday and I have only one footage of train up here <laughs> and then I just didn't film anything else so I was super overwhelmed with all the people in, in uh, London there's so many people I just thought like oh thank god I'm not in pandemic in London city but in small city Cambridge which is it, it's not far away from London but it's it's more suited for me, I guess. I really like smaller cities. I haven't been to London in like 16 months. I, the last time I went there was February before the pandemic and I was like, oh, I will go so, so, so much more in the summer and like it's so close. That it's only like one and a half hour from from this train station to London's station so I was like oh this is like so great I will go to so many museums so many art supplies so many plants I will go to botanical garden and then just pandemic happened I haven't been there and yeah and now it's next year and it's pandemic still and it's so busy that I don't want to go there that often like I will probably go there again because <laughs> there are a lot of things going on Lots of shops, markets, uh, fairs, bookstores, museums, all the exciting things. Just a lot of people on top of that, which is a little bit scary, but yeah. Hello, it's Grixis and today is Monday and I got order from Etsy, from my Etsy store yesterday or today, I don't know, in the weekend. So today I decided to pack the order and I just wanted to show a little bit of process how I pack the orders. This will be small clip of how I pack one order. I really wanted to like give small insight how is how is it to be like super super new to Etsy and uh, yeah maybe encourage new people coming to that platform because yeah it's a little bit struggling. <laughs> To, to be there, especially if you don't have like a big platforms where to promote your work and yeah, I feel Etsy is not like super great of supporting new people coming in they put people on the first pages, the ones who have the best reviews, the best sales but you know what, how to get there, that's the problem because uh, if you are small you don't have any sales, you don't have any reviews, you don't have any recommendations and it's really hard to get in the first pages and therefore your work to be seen. So I started my Etsy in this year, in January, which is four months ago and now it's May 21st and I have 19 sales which is kind kind of okay like I have like approximately one sale a week I guess sometimes I have like one sale in three weeks and then I have like two sales in one week it's just like in a waves but that's what I'm having right now and I feel like I try to promote my um, my listings on Etsy with marketing options but it didn't work and I spent like, I think I marketed my works for for a week and I spent like 14 pounds, which is, I don't know, I don't know, different currencies anymore. It's a little bit more on dollars, a little bit less in euros, I think, or opposite. Anyways, and yeah, it didn't work for me, so you really need to think like will it work for you or not because when you market your work on Etsy it goes in first or second page but still if you don't have reviews it's 
still really hard to do that kind of thing. So what I realized, what I'm doing right now, in every order I send, I write like thank you letter, and besides thank you letter, I'm writing like postscriptum. If you like this product, can you please review it on Etsy? It will help me reach more people. So I think this is really good tip for someone who doesn't have Etsy but want to start out to like encourage people to uh, give reviews because a lot of people who go and shop there they look probably from the previous buyers and see like if it's like a real person if uh, they will deliver the products on time is the packaging okay is the communication was okay so everything like that is really useful for your future people up there but I'm not an expert as you can see I have 19 sales so yeah I just wanted to share that as well and also not being too optimistic I guess when you start your Etsy store I feel like if you have a passion you will continue doing it but if you just wanted to sell a lot of things uh, without trying a lot it's possibly not gonna happy, happen maybe it will but i don't know i feel if you really want to do it then it will happen i actually opened my etsy store on, in my home country from different profile and it was in 2015 which is six years ago and i feel etsy wasn't that explored at that time i was 20 at that time when i opened the store and I didn't do a lot of research, my pictures were really awful, I took them like in, in bad lighting and um, I got two, I got one order with two items and of course I didn't know <laughs> that I need to put the bank details in so the money never came because it, there weren't any place where to send it like my motto now is uh, everything happens for a reason like, I wouldn't be here if I didn't do all the things before. So, I think it needed to happen like that. And, yeah, I guess, like, for Etsy, if you want to do it, you need to have a passion. Like, with all the things. I think it's the same with the videos I'm filming. I really enjoy doing them. So, that's why I'm doing them. Today is Wednesday, uh, 19th of May. I am um, working on my portfolio. And I will work on my portfolio today, this week and next week, so I don't know if it's interesting, but I will mostly show the process of painting... painting process? Call me out, tiger Call me out, why don't you learn? Lift me up higher Above the clouds, won't you love? When the scenery is right Go right in I wanna fall deep within But don't leave me hanging Just cause I'm too proud Whisper away my outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down I'm not that old yet I'm far too young To not stand my ground When my ways are mine
yesterday I did uh, draw this in your style illustration uh, from Rita Rita Ritiru. Um, I will tag her down below and she's doing really amazing challenge and I love the character so I decided to, to make it like in my own approach so I don't know why I just thought like triangle hair would be something interesting then yesterday I did like another illustration I don't know how I feel about it but it's uh, like a girl with two ferrets and today I thought I need to start doing some portfolio work and I decided to make like a cover it's not finished I was thinking to put like title here and the author here we'll see um, possibly do it on computer and then I'm I just I'm doing this one, like the old, I don't know what it is. Um, I guess, like, I have lots of things to do, but I don't have a lot of ideas how to make those artworks. So what I'm doing right now is just doing something. <laughs> That's the update. See you other day. Friday, super windy Friday, at least here. You may probably hear the sound from the window because the sound is kind of coming inside our house as well. But yeah, it's good to be inside in this kind of weather. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna continue drawing. I'm now focusing on character designs. Yesterday I did uh, these. Um, character designs and I actually wanted to do like character design sketches with uh, two persons and like one girl and other brother and I decided to like do character designs of me and my brother so this is kind of me in the childhood I had um, what is the what is this one I forget what bangs I had bangs when I was smaller and I, I used to have like a lot of uh, braids, like two braids. So yeah, this is like, this was kind of me. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I will probably do time lapse again. I think like after next week I will do a lot of art supply videos because now I'm like combining my portfolio work with video filming but I actually want to do like separate videos without like them being vlogs I really want to just I, I don't know swatch all my colored pencils or talk about granulating watercolors yeah so 
bunch of things coming on after next week. Yeah, I will probably do studio vlog for the next week as well. Enjoy this video <laughs> please give a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below I upload every Saturday and I'm super consistent which is surprising I think I'm learning a lot because I'm not usually consistent but I think I'm slowly getting there and I'm consistent I'm trying to be consistent on all my social medias so it's kind of working I'm so happy for you I'm Happy that you are joining this small community with me together and I hope you have the best day, evening, morning, wherever you are and 
see you next time. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.